Hey guys, it's Richard from Pennsylvania Bassin. Today I just want to do a quick video log, vlog, whatever you want to call it, um, on a couple things. I got out this afternoon, I actually just got back from fishing for a couple hours after work and leave it to this guy to forget his camera. Um, I caught a pretty decent uh, 15 and a half, 15 and three quarters. It was in really shallow water, he put up a really nice fight and I would have loved to have it on camera. but. You can't win them all. Uh, and another little 11 and change, and uh, I lost two others that I had on in a weed bed, and I just couldn't get them out before they tangled me up in the weeds. But uh, one thing I wanted to, I don't want to say rant about, um, but talk about is game commission. Um, I was stopped tonight, and I've seen them up there a couple times, whether it's fishing boat or it's the real deal guys with the handguns and the flashlights like I ran into tonight um, being out and about and doing their job and some people hate to be bothered they give them attitude and they give them problems and cause nothing but issues me the law-abiding rule following fisherman I enjoy seeing them up there as I was paddling it was getting close to dark and as I was paddling back I could see them parking in a couple cars and there were three officers and I knew as soon as I as I as I got to the boat launch they were heading over with a flashlight in my eyes um, and I knew exactly what was coming and they just all they asked was to see my uh, launch permit which is right on the front of the boat and what else did he say to me oh he said you're coming back in pretty late do you have a flashlight and yes I do officer just Follow me right over here. Open up the center hatch in my kayak, and now the battery's dead, and I'm not sure why, so I have to put a new one in there. But um, I had my flashlight, my whistle, my launch permit, and my fishing license. I always have it right there, so it's easy for them to see. Um, but it does not bother me any. Um, you you have all these people that break the rules and, and do stuff they shouldn't up there, and eventually it ruins it for the fishermen and the people who are doing what they're supposed to and following the rules up there. So if I get checked every single day I'm up there, every if I go twice a day and they check me both times even though it's the same guy and I'm the same guy, that does not bother me at all because I'm following the rules, I have everything I need to have, and it's keeping the people that are doing stuff that would prevent me from being there out because they know every time they go up there, they're not going to be able to launch their kayaks without a launch permit or do whatever they're doing to break the rules without getting caught and fined and stuff. So uh, I just wanted to talk about that for a minute because they ran. I ran into them tonight. Um, I'm going to put the pictures in here in a second of the fish I caught tonight. Uh, green pumpkin 5-inch Senko like I use all the time up there and I was just pitching, pitching the banks like I do. And of course, I didn't have the camera on. And he's, as you can see, is a pretty nice fish. Uh, I got to take the selfie with him, which is coming up in a second. Um, but I catch fish like that all the time up there. It's a little harder now in the middle of July, but there are tons and tons of fish like that in there, and it's fantastic. Um, it's my favorite place to fish uh, right now. That's that's local. I'm sure there's a couple other nice places, and there's some there's some farm ponds that I have access to that I'm working on a camera mount spike based thing I don't know what to call it um, so that I can take the camera rod with me that goes on the kayak and stick it in the ground behind me and get some of that bank pond fishing without having to have someone stand there and hold my camera for me um, but I guess that's all for this video uh, like subscribe leave some comments on anything you guys are interested in seeing from me uh, I'm gonna work on I'm going to get a tank set up to do lure reviews and soft plastics and how they sink and how they wiggle and um, how some jerk baits, jerk baits suspend and crank baits suspend and all that other stuff. Uh, I just have to get the tank, which I'm working on, deciding what size to get and all that stuff. Um, but that will be in future lure reviews and uh, what else? I'm going to do some more knot tying videos. I'd like to get a really big hook and some yarn just so it's easier for you guys to see um, what I'm doing and what you need to do before I do any more of those videos but uh, 
until next time, guys, good luck out there. And uh, this is Richard from Pennsylvania Basin again, and uh, tight lines.